Hello everyone, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel for today's timeless message that I recorded on October 25th, 2023. I'll be using the Tarot of Curious Creatures by Chris Ann. There's the front of that box cover now, off camera, as I always do. I'm cutting and shuffling my decks and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck, divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love, and light. What is my all signs collective timeless message for whenever we find it? Oh, and there it goes. It jumps right out. Wow. What a really fun card indeed. The seven of cups, right? So right away, cup energy, water signs are right correlated with the water signs. So if you're a water sign, with this water energy, there could be a specific message for you here today. And certainly love how this deck, Chris Ann puts this deck together and, you know, creatively with the human bodies and the animal heads. And here's this dog head on the human body. And it's just a wonderful little sight indeed. Very artistic and creative and makes you laugh a little bit. And I love it. I love her her take on these cards and, and this imagery. So we've got a dog here and maybe dogs resonate with you. Maybe a particular dog that looks like this dog here. And for some reason, I'm getting the, the Visla breed, right? So if you have a Visla dog, this message, or there could be messages within this video today that resonate, that are meant for you, all right? Or certainly if you're a dog lover, if you hunt dogs, or right, if you're into hunting, because I believe the Visla is a hunting dog, and maybe I could be wrong about that completely, 100%. However, <clears throat> however, dogs resonate in your life, all right? So just really want to remind you to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, whether that's animals, and maybe you need to do, you know, your own research. Use that human intelligence and your divine intuition and go out and do your own homework on the internet and, and maybe you need to do some internet searches such as, you know, spirit animal dog or totem animal dog and, and see what comes up for you or whatever you're called to really research there. And it looks like the dog is making a decision with the different cups above um, him there with different things in each cup and choices. So choices come to mind, okay? And certainly the number seven, are you seeing 777? within your environment, all right? And again, I would always encourage you to go out and do your homework and research and find out what the repeating number 777, if that's a internet, you know, search such as angel number 777 or numerology number 777 or whatever it is for you, however you want to shape that sentence, that statement, uh, when you are searching on the internet, that is what will come back to you. So, just encouraging you to take the power in your own hands and be responsible for your own knowledge and learning and, and go out there and find those resources, all right? And take what resonates and leave the rest. But being mindful that we're always sent signs and synchronicities every single day in our daily life that mean something for us if we pay attention, all right? Oftentimes they're sent to us as direct messages to the questions we're asking. So be aware of that. <clears throat> we're going to jump into the booklet and find out what Chris Ann had in mind when she created this card. Now, tarot is a standard type of messaging, okay? These cards have been around for a very, very long time. And uh, so the Seven of Cups would have a very standard messaging. However, people that are deck creators, and, and I'm trying to find this here within the booklet, they take their own specific take on it, their own creative twist on it, all right? And we're going to find out what she had in mind when creating this card specifically. Not only will she mention general energies of what the Seven of Cups means, but also some little quirky fun as well in uh, pertaining to this card, this image here, and what she wanted you to take from, from her deck creation, all right? So not my words, fr friends and folks and family here today, okay? Not my words, want to make that perfectly clear, as I'm always giving credit where it is due. I'm reading this word for word, knowing that I'm merely that vessel, that messenger, as what needs to be delivered has come through me to you, 
and those that are meant to receive it will find value in this video. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, here we go. Seven of Cups. <clears throat> so it did come out as heads up. So that means upright. So the overall energy for that. <clears throat> Opportunities and options. Fantasies, illusions. Having a choice to make without the benefit of having the complete picture. Interesting. Sometimes life's bullet of choices, buffet rather, bullet. Okay, I don't know why I totally read that word as bullet. So <clears throat> that is in an intuitive download or some type of messaging for someone. And when I do make mistakes, which aren't mistakes because spirit doesn't make mistakes, it's for a reason, all right? So somebody, bullets, and this could have to do with hunting. There could be a connection there with the hunting dog and that. And I don't always make sense of it or understand when things come forward. I merely just say them, bring them out for you. You're the ones that are going to make sense of it. All right. So bullets. All right. That is going to be for somebody. Um, how that resonates with you, I don't know. Okay. So just place that in your life or discard that. Take Take what resonates, leave the rest. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Sometimes life's buffet of choices can look a whole lot like a dog's breakfast. Am I right? But when we look beyond our own confusion and when we dive into the imagination to find our way, we can discover multiple paths lying ahead of us, each one offering different experiences to be tasted. We must focus on our deepest desires so that we are not sidetracked by all the possible opportunities or all the scary things, most which aren't real. As you look at your cups, filled with spiritual awakenings, financial abundance, romances, careers, and goals, you'll find a lot of ingredients <clears throat> to work with, okay? Life is made up of a series of ingredient choices. And even though sometimes you can only choose one cup at a time, it doesn't mean that over time your path won't be filled with all things. If it feels difficult to zero in on the options that are truly available to you at this time, start by letting go of the wishbones, possibilities, and daydreams that feel unexciting or vague, okay? Release expectations placed on you by others. Then use your discernment and your intuition to take a thoughtful step closer to a specific dream. All right, You have to get specific, especially if you're trying to co-create with the universe. All right, You can't be vague. You have to get down to the exact details of things that you want to bring into fruition. Even write it down, I would suggest, making a list and describing in great detail whatever it is that you're trying to bring into fruition, whatever you're trying to manifest. Dog conversations. Ask your unconscious mind to present you with the very best option. What do you really want to build? Good question, isn't it? Who do you really want to be? Even better question. I am fantastic at sniffing out the unseen routes to dreams. Which path would tickle your tail the most, both for tomorrow and for years to come? Absolutely, that is the one. Not the vague, not the, oh, okay, I guess. But what is the one? What is the path that excites you the most? Doesn't mean it's the easiest. Doesn't mean it's just going to be handed to you and you don't have to do the work. But what choice, what option excites you the most? That is the one you should be sniffing out. If we're going to use the dog reference, right? That is the one you should be searching out. You should be hunting for, okay? And trying for, all right? So today, you're being asked to really think about all of the choices that you have available to you. And first and foremost, being grateful that you have choices, okay? And then deciding to focus on what it is that really lights you on fire, okay? And not, and getting really clear about it, okay? And if it helps you to journal about it, to really just think out loud about it, 
and talk in great detail about that exciting thing, whatever it is for you, for everyone, it's going to be different, then I would suggest that you do that because as you're co-creating with the universe, it's important to get down to those nitty gritty details and not be vague about those choices that you want to bring into fruition. What a wonderful, wonderful card indeed. Absolutely love this card, okay? So I thank you so much for your time today. <clears throat> I thank you for supporting me the way that you do and coming back to me. I appreciate you. And as I always say, and I've been repeating in many of my videos because I find it is a very profound message that it's okay to be reminded of every single day that it's a blessing that we wake up alive, okay? Because we're not promised tomorrow, are we? I'm not promised tomorrow. You're not promised tomorrow. Nobody's promised tomorrow. We only really have today and now, okay? Yesterday's in the past. It really is, especially in this current body and current life that we're living and we're in this human experience, in this 3D world where time is a thing, okay? The past is in the past. So we have to take those lessons that we've learned and apply them to our life moving forward, realizing that today is the only time. So we need to apply those lessons. We need to sit down with ourselves, make that list of the things that light us on fire, those, those choices that we want to choose that are not the vague, oh, okay, I'll just settle for choices. No, you need to stay with the choices that are exciting to you, that really make you wake up in the morning, right, to think about, right, and getting those details straight and really becoming detail-oriented on those that choice for you so that you can bring more of that to you, bring those dreams into fruition, co-creating with that universe, okay? Because the universe can't work with you if you don't do the work and if you don't focus on the details, okay? Very important. I wish you luck on that today. Daydreaming, but with a purpose. by making a list and writing out those details and putting your energy and focus on the things that excite you the most, okay? Have a wonderful day. Put your best foot forward. Be the best human you can be. And come back to me tomorrow and join me again for yet another collective energy message. Bye-bye.